Welcome to the Biohacking Beauty Podcast. Uh, my guest today is someone I admire personally, uh, Dr. Porter. Uh, Dr. Porter is uh, the brains behind a, an amazing product that I use personally called uh, BrainTap. Dr. Porter, please introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you and maybe how you got to uh, where you are today. Okay. Well, I've been in this industry now, actually, since I was 12. My dad became a silver instructor where I learned to meditate on technology-driven meditation, which used something called isochronic tones. If somebody knows the silver method, then they're, they're familiar with what I'm talking about. My dad was one of the instructors, one of the first ones in the country. So I grew up doing... Um, basically self-help seminars on the weekends. That was, and then I grew up to help my dad doing that. Um, I am an award-winning author and, and speaker and researcher. We have a lot of research we can talk about. One of the things we've been researching this since, actually since the 80s. Uh, in 89, we got the best how to, uh, the best new gadget of the year. And that was before CDs and cell phones. So we were like aliens, you know, arriving at the <laughs> Um, we also, because, uh, because it's something so foreign when people see it for the first time, you know, lights in the ears, lights in the eyes, we can probably talk about that a little bit of why that is. Um, but people like the IAFNR, which is the, uh, interdisciplinary association of functional neurologists and rehabilitation actually gave me a, a lifetime achievement award two years ago, which kind of shocked me uh, wow. because 10 years ago, they wouldn't even let me into their conference because they, they didn't understand what we were doing. But yeah. finally, I, I had one of their neurologists do some scans and improve that what we were talking about was brain fitness. Once they saw that, now every one of their patients in the group, uh, when they leave, we showed about a 19% improvement in neurological function just by ending their treatments with brain tap. So, you know, we, we have an app that we use and a headset, and the app now has over 5 million listenings, uh, which wow. is great. Um, I've developed over, uh, we have over 2000 sessions on that app. So you can't really, even if you listen to something different over the next four years, you're not going to keep up because we're, and that has something to do with neuroplasticity. And that's probably what we're going to talk a lot about in different ways is how does the brain change and how can we optimize its function for health and longevity? Yeah. Awesome. And, and this is, you, you've, you've really kind of, um, you know, put into words what I'm experiencing uh, as far as using brain tap, uh, so Dr. Porter, I think when b before we we really dive into uh, what's going on now in, in recent science, uh, could you please maybe give us a, a a brief introduction to what brain tap is? Yeah. Um, you know, you did speak about the fact that there there are headsets and uh, flashing lights. Yes, but this this can be you know this I, I can make one at home a headset with flashing lights. So please give us a little bit of a of a background of what it is. What we've done is we've looked at how the body responds to its environment through light, sound, and vibration. And what we've done is we've taken the ancient traditions, like we could we could take every one of our therapies back in time. For instance, the flashing retinal flashing that happens in the eyes. This is very much like looking at a fire or a candle burning. Those, those actually have a 10 hertz frequency, which just happens to be alpha. Now, a candle, you can't move the frequency. So with technology, we can actually change the flickering effect, and the brain itself changes. And we can change the right and left hemisphere separately if we want. We've done studies with that, that already. And we also have lights in the ears, which sometimes blows people away. But since a lot of your listening audience uses your skin care, it's important to notice that at every cell, not just the skin, but every cell of the body has something called chromoforms. These chromoforms absorb energy. Now, the more energy, now think of mitochondria. Those are really bugs in the system, it, but they need to be protected. So we have a cell lining that protects them, but they need energy. That energy comes in the form of light, sound, and vibration. doesn't matter what you eat, what you drink, what you do. The body has to break it down to the basic building blocks of the universe. And that's mm -hmm. light, sound, and vibration. And it creates something called ATP. So we want to get as much energy into the brain as possible. So we're going to do that by bringing in light frequencies that the body loves and absorbs. Now, we also use sound. Now, sound was around a lot longer than lights because before 1986, no one did this. We were the first people, the six of us in our lab at Light and Sound Research, there was no portable light and sound machine. There was a clinical machine called the SILS that we used, but it took a person to man it. 
We looked at skin temperature, respiration, all the things you would to notice if somebody's relaxing, and you had to manipulate it by hand. And the unit cost ten thousand dollars. So wow. we wanted to we wanted to bring it into the hands of the user because this is something you need to do every day, really, or do something to reduce your stress and anxiety. So sound is really important. As we think about sound, we have our brain does a really good job at filtering things out. For instance, uh, we listen to twenty five thousand pieces of information every second, but we only act on forty of them. If you and I were sitting in a restaurant talking and having a great conversation and somebody said biohacking, you know, four tables over, we'd probably hear it. We wouldn't hear the rest of the conversation, but because that word means something to us, our brain would pick that out. They call that the reticular activating system. So fair we, warning, doctor. I'm going to quote. Yeah. Next time my life partner gets upset that I, um, I'm drifting off, I'm going to quote you. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Very true. So what happens is our brain, it's, it's kind of like we know people that live next to these paper mills and you go visit and you go, man, God, that smells so bad. How do you live? And they go, I don't even smell it because yeah. our brain turns off the danger signs. That's a danger. Sense, our sense of smell is one of the first things that we, uh, that's why quite a few people still smell their food before they eat it. It's not just something animals do, but it's a part of our primitive reflex. So we're using the primitive reflex of light and sound through hearing and sight. Now, what people don't know about hearing is 30% of your hearing comes from your eyes. And you heard me wow. right. So if you've ever been in a lecture and you couldn't hear the lecturer until you changed your line of sight so you could see them, then that's because that's what turns on that part of the reticular activator that says, listen to that person 50 feet away that's talking. You could hear everybody in the room, but the brain needs to know, and this is part of our protective mechanism. So what we did is we provided a very specific cortical response sound. And there's several of them. There's not just one. It's a proprietary blend that we've been working with since the 80s. So when somebody says, can I just listen to binaurals on the internet? You can, but you're not going to get the results you get with ours, mainly because most people making them on the internet think you're supposed to listen to only one sound. Like people go, listen to this 433 megahertz uh, it's going to be yeah. you know, love and joy. Well, that's not a brain frequency. So your brain is not going to follow it, but the cells of your body will. Your brain uses earth frequencies. Those are between 0 0.5 and 100. If it's anything above that, it will not affect your brain. In fact, it will cause stress on the brain. So what we do is we mirror those, what we call harmonics of like sophigeal frequencies. We, met, we monitor those, but we also use uh, the the lower frequencies, like they can stimulate the delta, the alpha, the theta, the, the beta, and the gamma, which is what we're more concerned with at brain tap. So the whole thing is about brain fitness. How can we get the brain to optimize, to perform at its peak performance, to bring better clarity, focus, and help people sleep better? Those are like the three biggest things people find with brain tap. But it happens because we're, get, we're taking them out of their everyday reality and putting them into a super, a super state, really. The brain is going into a state where it's processing all of this new data, and then it's trying to evaluate its environment, which the environment has been basically processed through lights on a vibration. So instead of getting the outer world reality, it's getting the inner world reality, and that creates this really deep relaxation effect. In fact, we have study after study that shows a 39.8% reduction in stress with just a 20 minute session. That's why when people come to our events, like you've seen us, they're, they're lined up and they're all passed out in the chairs. They're not really passed out. They're just in a super state of relaxation where they appear to be sleeping, but their mind is really awake and learning how to function better when they return back to regular time. Yeah. And that's why it was extremely important for me to get you on this podcast because you know, the, the, the evil plan behind this podcast in the end is to improve our users' uh, results from our skincare. And we're really aware of the fact that you can use, you know, the best skincare in the world, which we make. But if you're not, your, your inner wellness, whether that would be stress levels, what you eat, etc., is not going to be uh, corresponding with that. It's not going to be at the same quality. You're not going to get the, the ultimate results. And Obviously, one of the, the most intuitive things as far as our, uh, the effects of our lifestyle on our, our uh, skin health are our stress levels and how we sleep. There's, there is a reason 
you know, a good sleep is called beauty sleep. That's really intuitive. But also we all know people who under, ha, have undergone, maybe ourselves as well, have undergone, you know, extreme stress situations uh, and have come out the other end looking not as good. We can look at president, past presidents, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very important for, for us to get you on this podcast, talk about stress and, and really, you know, um, make sure everyone knows how unique your approach and uh, brain tap is to, uh, to uh, reducing stress levels. So you were starting to talk about um, how, how you reduce uh, stress levels uh, after using the, the, the brain tap uh, headset. So what is the normal, wh what do sh should people expect? You know, the first time they're using it, is there a process where it, it, it is there a cumulative effect to using those? Yes. Yeah, it's cumulative because if, if you're if you're somewhere where we can measure your brain and do a brain map, we can show you how the brain operates. It typically takes about six weeks um, to get the brain to start to organize. There's something called the perfect brain wave that Ann Weiss, who was one of our researchers, and other people like Dr. Richard Barwell, another neurologist who said this is a perfect brain wave. It's a mixture of brain waves. So it's not just mm -hmm. one brain wave. Like I love people saying, go to theta, go to theta. Well, Theta is really good for parasympathetic, but it's not going to be really good for helping you accomplish your goals. It's going to be recovery time. So it's about 45% beta, 30% alpha, about 10% theta, and hopefully less than 10% delta, and the rest would be in gamma. And then your brain's going to be operating while you're awake. Now, what we find is most people are in deep delta, which means that they have a lot of inflammation in their body. And inflammation will show up in the skin because your skin is your biggest elimination organ. So when you're, when you're stressed out, what's going to happen is you're going to restrict blood flow and circulation, which means you're going to restrict the lymphatic flow. Now, that lymphatic flow is what's going to keep your skin healthy and clean and bright right. you know, when you're working out and things like that. And also going to help when you're putting on the good... Um, the good supplements and things on your skin that you're using for skincare. So all of these things happen. The, the number one thing I think that the, the listeners need to really understand is how our body works on a chemical level. The stress from one event is the same as eating a candy bar because that stress tells the liver produce sugar. We're about to be eaten by a saber tooth tiger. And <laughs> so it blows out it, the liver produces all this sugar, puts it into the bloodstream now, we have very strong um, requirements for our bloodstream. We can only have one tablespoon of circulating sugar in our bloodstream at any one time. If we have more than that, we actually die. So wow. our body is going to then tell the pancreas, start producing insulin. Insulin is a fat storage hormone. So what happens is immediately this, now you don't have to be eating sugar all day to burn out your pancreas. All you have to do is be stressed out all day in your pancreas, which is supposed to be just a little drip, just keeping your blood sugar where it needs to be. Uh, but as soon as it has to react to stress responses, basically it goes from a drip to a stream. And pretty soon we lose our gallbladder's function. We lose our insulin. We lose our spleen. We, we start losing internal organs because we're using the biological system to manage our electrical system. We are electrical beings. We are beings of light, actually. So our cells and energy all respond. Most people don't even realize that your body is emitting infrared light all the time. Uh, when you think about skin care, there's actually a product out there that Tom Brady sells. It's called TB12. And he's the quarterback that's 44 years old, just retired. But he that clothing was designed by our science officer, Dr. Francisco Cedral. And what it does, it has ceramics in it. It actually reflects your own body's infrared light back to you. Because a lot of people don't realize some healers have, you know, when you, some people just naturally heal people, they know how to do it. Well, they now know that they are actually generating more light. So it's not just saints we see in holy pictures, you know, that have this corona discharge. Every person does. And when people go, I don't believe that, I go, look at any infrared camera. When you're looking Correct. at the camera, night vision camera, what it's picking up is your body's emitting of 810 to 860 nanometer light. We all do that. So the more energy we have, the more we project this light. So the, the healthier your skin is, the more you're going to project this light because your skin is actually amplifying that signal. 
So every cell, that's what I'm saying, every cell has that mitochondria that's emitting that discharge of energy. The more that's why when you see somebody like they say, your skin's glowing, mm-hmm. they're literally picking up on the energy that, that that is being generated by the body because now it doesn't have the toxins. When you remove the toxins, there's three things to help. We there's thoughts, traumas, and toxins. And if you have any of those three, it's going to disrupt your natural health cycle. And toxins in the skin are probably the worst because people don't realize it. They, you know, they, and the stress that happens because of that. And the stress, and obviously the, the unfortunate end, end result, especially in our skin, is senescence, right? Uh, cells that cannot repair themselves well, they, they degrade and they become zombie cells, which only, only emit inflammation and if infect other cells. That's why they're called z- zombie cells. And really the accumulation of them, especially in our skin, is the precursor to really almost every mechanism that is, that is involved in aging. Uh, so, Dr. Porter, really to get you back into, uh, into uh, using uh, uh, your technology, you, you said six weeks. Now, is it something that a person can use more and shorten the time frame? Uh, is it something that someone can use very sporadically and still get results? What are you seeing as far as people using it at home? They're what we call patient compliance, right? How often they use it? and the kind of the results that accompany uh, that. Our, our average user actually listens 28 times a month. So they're getting, wow. they're, they're very compliant. The, um, and in the business of, that we're in, in the apps, we track if people come and go, we only have 1% of our people leaving. So we have a really high compliance. People like it, they're getting good value from it. Uh, what we find like in the six week studies that we do, we always do six weeks because we find that the nervous system, although it changes every 72 hours, to retrain the nervous system. You probably heard the expression of 21 days before. Yeah, um, That's never been proven. It's crazy talk. In fact, um, the reason they said 21 days is because they said in the study that they're quoting from Harvard and, and from Stanford, it says, when you use visualization and relaxation techniques, it takes 21 days. But no one ever says that. They always say it just takes 21 days. If you just go on your own and do this on your own, it's not gonna happen in 21 days. The study showed it took 18 months. Mm-hmm. But what we, what we found in our research is if you don't have a real issue, like if you're just wanting it for sleep improvement in that, you can start to, to get improvement the very first time you listen. We did, a, we did a single session program to see what happened at a seminar once, and we had a 90% improvement in sleep scores in one night. Now, the longer wow. study we did, with, we just finished one that's being published it's, uh, it's in Australia, where we showed a 70% sleep improvement over the six weeks. Now, what made it faster was using the light and sound headset. The people that use the app alone, it took them six weeks. The people that use the headset got those same results in three weeks. So, wow. So 21 days. So you can do now with weight loss, uh, it doesn't really matter you can't lose weight or you should not lose weight more than one to two pounds a day. I mean, more than that, but really the safest is one to two pounds a week so mm-hmm. that your body and your skin can adjust and you don't have that flabby skin. So everything builds around that new body. So, you know, like stop smoking. We have people, you know, with addictions, I should say, it could take longer because we, you know, we usually see about a six week time period and it's like anything else. It's not a permanent thing. It's a retraining thing. So either you're going to use brain tap or you're going to find your own way to de-stress. You have to have some way to keep the brain balanced and de-stressed. And a lot of times we recommend like things like yoga, Tai Chi and dance. These are all things that are going to keep your body moving and breathing. Uh, But people like the ease of brain tap. You can just Put on the session, you go through a series, you press play, kick back, and you recharge. And the nice thing is when you're listening to these three times, morning sessions are different than afternoon sessions are different than evening sessions. Mm -hmm. So I'll kind of explain those to the listeners. We have morning sessions. There's a brainwave we all have. And as we get better looking and more intelligent with age, something happens to our brain. (laughs) We start to lose a brainwave called SMR. Now, I didn't mention that earlier because it's more like behind the scenes of scientists like myself, who are in neuroscience, we're going to talk about that brainwave. That's a brainwave for, uh, they call it sensory motor rhythm. So it has to do with your balance, your equilibrium. But we also know it is directly affecting our cognitive functions. And it has to do with our hippocampus. 
So stress can actually shrink our hippocampus by three quarters of an inch if we have a year of stress like we just went through. So mm-hmm. if you're not doing something about it, it's going to cause problems. So the morning sessions are meant to really rev up the brain. We call it digital coffee because if you li- if you listen to those, at, even in the afternoon, you're going to get energy because that's what they're designed to do. Now, most of our sessions, we have about 150 of those sessions. Now, the we have literally thousands of sessions that are the middle the middle one because most people that's their favorite time two o'clock mm-hmm. in the afternoon for everyone out there if you're wondering why is it every day around two o'clock i've got to have coffee tea or chocolate it's because our body's temperature drops two degrees no matter where you're at in the world around two o'clock so we're conditioned for tea time or go get a coffee or go get some chocolate but, but what the body's really needing is a reboot it's needing mm-hmm. a, a nap These bodies are designed for the Serengeti, not for, you know, America or Canada or wherever you're living. You know, it's they're designed to be out there taking a nap next to that zebra. So (laughs) whenever it's too hot to run around. Right. So what we found is to get that reboot. And we we proved this out with one of our pro teams that uses our equipment. It's a team out of Kansas City, the Kansas City Sport. And they have a 20 station brain tapping room so that the soccer players after practice can do a reboot session before they leave. Because we showed that we could take a four hour window in sports. You look at uh, HRV before the workout, after the workout, and then how long does it take your body to recover? Because some people overtrain. In fact, most pro athletes and Olympic athletes, they overtrain. They you're when you're saying, can you do it faster to get better results? Your body can only adapt so quick. You know, unless we get to some real Star Trek stuff that's going to change the way our our body changes. So our nervous system is changing. But we do know that that recovery window, that's the biggest thing for the middle of the day. We all need to recover. Imagine how much work you get done in the morning if you have two mornings. That's what most people do with brain tap. They'll listen in the afternoon. They get up. Now they're fresh eyed. They're they're creative. And then at night, we have sessions that basically put the brain to sleep, that put you into deep delta sleep. And turn on that glial lymphomic systems, just like the skin and the gut. We have this gut biome that we're we're talking about. A lot of people talk about a leaky gut. Well, now they yeah. know we have a brain biome. And if you have a leaky gut, you have a leaky brain. Yes. So those toxins have to go somewhere. So if you get better sleep, you're going to detox because the, the they proved this in medical science in 2016. They had a big article about it in American Scientific that said that we now have a glial lymphomic system. Now, we always had that. They just named it. But they didn't, if you looked at a lymphatic system before um, before the time of 2016, you're going to see it stops about the neck. Well, it goes all the way now because that's how your face is going to get clean. If the if the lymphomic system, the glial lymphomic system isn't working, you're going to have, to, you're going to have, um, what is it, Zit, you know, pimples and breakouts and rosacea and all of those kind of things. So we need to get that going as well as people have been using a lot of toxic, um, you know, products on their body, it's including, yeah. including deodorants. You know, deodorants good, but antiperspirants bad. That's what people need to understand. So antiperspirants clog up the, the lymphatic system and deodorants, if it's deodorant alone, it should be okay. Now, some people would don't care. They just don't want to stink or don't want to sweat, but we're supposed to sweat. You know, <laughs> most people don't understand. Yeah. And also a uh, uh, chemical SPFs, they're, they're going to do something similar where they're not going to let the, uh, the skin release toxins and, and, you know, move them down our uh, lymphatic system. So uh, definitely. And so have you ever, have you ever seen, you know, correlation between better, uh, be- better toxin drainage, and using the, the brain tap, is it ever something that you've looked at as far as researching that specifically? We have, we, what we do is we work with a lot of lymphatic drainage um, massage therapists. Yeah. Because when you're relaxed and you're doing deep breathing, that's one of the ways the lymphatic system, you know, the, I'm sure most listeners might know what it is, but the lymphatic system doesn't have a, a pump like the heart. So it only does it if you're jumping up and down. Like we use a vibration plate here at our clinic, which we do a lot with um, – the women like it, you know, they come in, they do their, whether they're doing the infrared or they're doing the red light therapy or brain tap before they leave, we have them do a sonic vibration system that we have. And that sonic vibration system actually gets the lymphatic system going because once you've liberated that fat, whatever you're doing, you need to use it or the cells 
gobble it back up and store it. And the only reason we have fat out there is toxins. If we didn't have toxins in our body, our body would not produce fat to protect us. So we have seen, what we have seen is rosacea, um, different skin ailments go away when the stress levels are reduced because the stress will show up in the skin. Yeah. And so when you're, when you're less stressed, you will not have all the problems with your skin that you used to have. Yeah. And, and you were talking about, um, um, the excess, excess, um, sugar being, being circulated, uh, that, that contributes also to something that, that is a hallmark of aging, but really, uh, a hallmark of aging that we, we've, we can encounter, you know, pretty quickly in the skin, which is called glycation, mm -hmm. uh, which turns the skin more rigid, uh, you know, helps your skin lose collagen, which is obviously negative. Um, and by by improving the way that uh, we de-stress, the way that our body uh, cleans out toxins, this is something that we can, you know, immensely uh, uh, if impact uh, and something that we see really positive results as far as uh, alternative methods of uh, de-stressing. So, uh, doctor, what are what are some adjunct uh, treatment technologies? Uh, you, you've mentioned like light therapy, you've mentioned um, um, vibration plates. What are some of the things that you see people using in, con in conjunction that, are, that, that impact uh, the use of brain tap positively? Well, we, we do a lot with uh, Clint Oprah with grounding. We use grounding uh -huh. at all of our stations. Um, most people don't realize they're walking around with about three volts of electricity uh, so it's just moving through their system. It's not grounding into the earth. That disrupts the communication with these cells. Uh, just walking outside barefoot can be miraculous, but because pe most people won't do that, what we do is we have grounding mats that we put on everything. In fact, I have a, I have a, also, I love PEMF. Uh, yeah. I use a company called Magnaway personally, but I know there's a lot of great companies out there. We do a lot with, um, there's a power plate or something like that, too. not power plate, but there's another one. Uh, that we work with too, but I happen to have one that has sound therapy in a bed, but mm -hmm. I also put a PMF in it. So I can do those at the same time as I'm doing my brain tap. We also do a lot with light helmets. Um, if we find that people who are suffering from dementia, especially, um, they don't have enough energy in their brain. So you can use red light therapy and there's a lot of different therapies out there. We just happen to have the one that was created by our science officer who wrote the book with Dr. Hamlin from Harvard on photobiomodulation of the brain. The one that they write about is the one that we James, have. James Carroll? Who, who's that? Who's the guy? His name is Francisco Cedral. He's the, yeah. he's the guy, if you look at his book, he's got it there. He he was the one who did some of the first research in Brazil. And mm -hmm. when I looked it up, uh, now he's our science officer because I said, hey, can we build? He didn't have anything. He built it in the lab back when he did his research. Now there's a lot of people doing similar things. And what yeah. we're finding is if somebody has low energy and they're trying to get better memory, focus, and concentration, they have to eat really well, they have to move and breathe, and then we got to get light in the brain to really get it going. I mean, we have a, there's a good book called uh, Saving Your Brain, and the, uh, the author, uh, Kelly Miller, actually talks about brain tap being part of the solution because he's, but he's also talking about physical exercise, getting the body going. There's, you, it has to be a full, full-on program because to get the brain to dysregulate over time, it takes a poor diet, lack of movement, basically people thinking they're supposed to be sedentary. Yeah. You know, the sedentary lifestyle has been really bad for the brain. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, um, within those, within, you know, keeping, keeping us within the, 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 par the paradigm of, of, of the perfect uh, habits in order to, to, to serve uh, our brain tap use, um, there, there, you start seeing products uh, that are designed. I mean, like uh, supplemental products that are designed to support the brain. Uh, some of them uh, rely on fats. Some of them uh, rely on supply of neurotransmitters. What are some of the? <clears throat> you did touch on healthy eating habits, but what are some of the things that you see that uh, support the way that our brain functions in general, and then uh, brain tap specifically. Yeah, we're doing a lot now with uh, low dose mushrooms. Doing a lot of things with those. That was uh, my next question. So great. <laughs> so we have. There's two stories I can tell about that. But the um, well, first, 
we have a group that does, there's a product called Thrive and a, a, a product called Adapt. And there, uh, a friend of mine made those out of California. Her name is Joquita Handy. And she found that these can be used every day instead of like low dose having to do it for three days. And she's done a lot of research and shows you can do the, the macro dosing if you want and then use this as low dose and really calms the brain and gets it working right. Now, there's a company called uh, Optimum Health Systems that built out one called OptiBrain based on all the supplementation I recommend. And instead of me having to make a supplement for brain tap, we just recommend people go there because it's got mushrooms in it. It's got a lot of the uh, psychotropics. It's got the what's going to wake up the brain. It also has the uh, niacin in it. If, yeah. if you're not doing niacin out there, especially if you're on any antidepressant, I would recommend start off slow, though. You know, there's there's some really good books about niacin and it's really vitamin, vitamin D3. So mm -hmm. uh, if if you're not doing that, I would recommend it because that also opens up for skin care. Getting that niacin plus is pretty good too. but do, do a small amount because some people freak out the, the way that it does it. But it's going to open up those capillaries, create what's called vasodilation and blood flow. Um, I would say uh, nothing bought from Walmart would be a good decision because they, they actually did a study that showed Walmart and a couple others, they actually took the vitamins off the shelf and found that there was nothing in them. It was all in wow. it was all inert material. So, I mean, there's no rules. It's like the Wild West when it comes to supplements. So I always recommend doctors only brands that yeah. we know uh, there's something in the industry called fairy dusting which is like they'll say this has um, some special supplement in it. And all they did was kind of sprinkle it on the top. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like our prescriptions. Most people don't know this, but 85% of or more of all prescriptions are actually aluminum in fluoride. Wow. They're fillers and they're not good fillers. <laughs> they're, they're bad fillers. They're toxic fillers for the brain. So we want to make sure that we're the, the biggest thing you can do for your brain is getting the right essential fats. You know, whether you eat them or you supplement them um, and also getting your acid down. There's a, a good friend of mine. He wrote a book called Get Off Your Acid and also Get Off Your Sugar. His name is uh, Daryl Joffrey. In that book, basically, you got to get if you and he also talks about essential fats, you know, the, the omega threes. We need those because our brain is fat. And it needs at least your body needs at least half your body's weight in ounces of good water. We we recommend hydrogen water, not for all the time, but we need hydrogen in our gut to really for all the processes to work. So there's different supplements out there that do that. You know, that are different ways to supplement your water. Even we also yeah. recommend structuring your water. If you're using reverse osmosis, there's devices uh, like we're just at Parker. They had a really good one. You just pour it through these crystals. And as bizarre as that sounds, it changes the structure of the water. In fact, my granddaughter, I've been using something like that for the last almost 10 years. And my daughter, my granddaughter comes over and says, Grandpa, I want to drink the good tasting water because we put it through that. It basically makes it like a spring again. And yes. so that's so important for the, for the, especially for the skin. If you want to improve your skin function too, is um, start drinking good water, you know, and taking showers in good water, you know, things like that. Yeah, uh, actually, one of the so going back to light therapy because uh, most listeners know that uh, that's kind of where I where I started and and uh, built my base and and how I discovered biohacking was really through um, managing a, a light therapy company. So one of the things that are less known about light therapy is that uh, it restructures the the fluid in our mitochondria. Uh, and that is uh, conducive to m creating more energy, which you've touched on uh, extensively. Uh, when it passes through our skin, it restructures the water in our skin. And that restructure, that uh, restructuring of water really is the correct way that water is in nature, whether it's, you know, uh, the way that um, that water coats a uh, chia seed or the way that uh, uh, plants move water around. So when we, when we, basically uh, process our water. It becomes a processed material, which then our body needs to rely on. And it's uh, obviously unfavorably. So um, you, if you could touch more a little bit about um, the, you, you said that there are a few supplements that you recommend. There is a company that really kind of amassed all of them together. What are mm -hmm. some of them if someone wanted to 
you know, you know go down a rabbit hole and, and kind of look into those uh, compounds? What are some of the compounds uh, that you like the most? Well, I, it's not the what I've done is I've looked at the research and there's the doctors at OHS have actually put them together for me. I'm not a nutrition expert. Yeah, um, We try to just work with what happened with the brain, but I, I find the simplest is you need to have a good, good multivitamin for sure. Yeah. I mean, not a centrum. You know, if it's, if it's hard packed, there's a pretty good chance it's going out with the elimination, you know? So, you know, the, the, the fields of those waste, um, if you go to YouTube and look at the where they dump the porta potties, you'll see all the the one a day centrums and things like that. Are <laughs> so getting those, yeah. I would also I would I would say that without having them all in front of me, the the key is is to have a blend. Like when you're doing, I try to do the micro dosing of the mushrooms myself, uh-huh. and I have no idea what to do. There's so much information out there. Um, I would say for my wife and I, those are like the biggest. Uh, ones for mood and for uh-huh. they, they have a lot of benefits to them. You don't have to macro dose, which means you don't have to go on a trip, you know, to get the experience. You can, uh, in fact, we had a group in Dallas that was doing a psilocybin study with brain tap uh-huh. for PTSD because it has been found to help people with massive trauma. And we had half the people that did not want to do the psilocybin just because they are afraid they're going to get addicted. Yeah. And so what we did was we did brain maps on the people when they were doing their trips. And we found out they had high degree of gamma throughout their brain. So I created a 10 session gamma series for brain tap and people were having the psilocybin trips without doing the psilocybin. So wow. that might be something you can go just type in gamma on the app and you can try that out. People report back, wow, they're, that's because gamma produces uh, GABA, which is the GABA is also a, neuro, a neurotransmitter, but you can also supplement it. So the reason I'm saying that is GABA is a good supplement, but it's you can never eat as much or take as much as your body can produce from one theta session. You know, yeah. so you're, you in basically with GABA is the precursor to DMT, which for those understanding plant based medicine know that that's the that's the one people take and go on these 50 minute trips. And but our brain's doing that all the time. It, it has the psilocybin yeah. receptors, it has DMT receptors, it has opioid receptors. These are what we're triggering with the brain. So I would say that the main thing is the, your omega-3s, getting a good multivitamin, maybe starting some low-dose um, mushrooms, uh, get it like look up Thrive and Adapt um, from Joquita Handy. Those are really good. And if you want to have one that has everything in one place, what I liked about OHS, the company I'm talking about is they actually have a daily pack where everything's in there. And if you have your genetic SNPs, they can actually get you the supplements you need based upon what we're saying your brain needs. And so they, they have a pretty good program like that. So they're, they're really getting super sophisticated with, instead of saying, uh, here's what everyone needs, they're saying, show us your genetics and we'll show you what you're lacking. And we'll do blood tests too. They link up the blood test genetics and they find out what the body is missing and uh, start to supplement that. Yeah, and between you and I only, uh, we're actually uh, teaming up with OHS. We're, we're going to oh. do some kind of collaboration because we, uh, obviously, I, I hope they believe in us as much as we believe in them. We, we strongly believe in, in what they have to offer. So, so it's great that uh, unsolicited, uh, you, you've, you've mentioned them, which is, which is awesome. So, Doctor, really to wrap it up and, and to um, maybe hand a silver spoon to, to, to our listeners, mm-hmm. How can someone experience uh, brain tap, dip their toe in, into the water um, and, and kind of start that journey? How do you see your, your, uh, you know, your potential uh, client uh, dipping the toe and jumping in? Yeah, well, they can go to braintap.info. That's a website where you don't have to put a credit card. You can download a free copy of my book. It's a full copy of the last book that I wrote called Thrive and Overdrive. It'll give them some information about the science, but it's a it's a 240-page book. So, But you can read it on your phone or on your tablet. You get to keep the book regardless of what you do. You get 15 days free on the app. So you can try it for 15 days, no problem. If at the end of 15 days you decide, hey, I don't want to do it, no problem. It's going to shut off. You have to go in and actually activate it if mm-hmm. you want to um, you know, buy the product and, and go for it. So it's a way they can try it out. 
like I said, people love it. If they if they like it, they're getting results. Go there and use the Sleep RX program if you're having problems sleeping. That app got the best uh, app of the year in 2020 by Health Magazine. So uh, that's that's probably our be- our best silver bullet, if you will. Yeah. So you know, and then just stress reduction. Just use it in the middle of the day when you get tired. Instead of going and running, get your coffee and tea. You know, do an afternoon session, and then you'll you'll get access to our wake up protocol, which is the AM programs. Mm-hmm. No, you know, try the morning, the afternoon, the evening, find out where it works best for you. And then you can you can start with just the app at, uh, you know, ten dollars a month to thirty dollars a month, depending upon what level you want to uh, play. And then if you want to do the headset, that's uh, that's available too. you can go ahead and click on that link and buy that. Awesome. And obviously, we're going to be at- attaching all of those links in the description for the podcast. Um, last question that just popped into my mind, let's say someone wanted to, um, to experience the app, uh, is any headset good enough? What should they be looking for as far as, uh, listening to it? Yeah, I think any, um, out of the box headset now will be good enough. I mean, they're all pretty good quality. Um, if you have, of course, the better quality, the better it's going to sound. So, you know, but you don't have to have Bose high end, you know, or Sony high end, um, you know, it's going to work for you with your earbuds, you know, in, you know, our, of course, our headset has really good speakers in it as well. We, we source the top of the line speakers, um, of the caliber, like what I was just talking about. Now they're not those exact ones, but they're, from the same factory in the same floor, but the, you know, that's the way that it works, you know, so that's the way it works when you're putting these things together. But I, yeah. I think the, the main thing is to give it a shot, have a measurable. I always recommend if you have a bio strap, you have a aura ring, you have some way to monitor your sleep, an Apple watch, do, do two or three nights or do at least a night or two or go back and look at your history, do the brain tap, you're going to see in three days the magic will start to happen. You're going to get that deep sleep score. You're going to start maxing out, uh, especially the aura ring. It seems so easy to, to max that one out. They, all you have to do is get a, an hour of deep sleep, and they give you a 90-something. You know, yeah, most- actually, I, actually I, I really like for because I, I unfortunately, I'm addicted to, to gadgets. Uh, mm-hmm. I have all of those. And actually, for, for that specifically, uh, my favorite is uh, the new BioStrap because it has a session where you're going to get a score on a specific session. Uh, and that is, again, that's very good in order to measure specifically the, the effects of, let's say, an AM or whichever, which uh, afternoon, whatever, whatever uh, session you wanted to do. Yeah, we do have some sessions actually in the BioStrap, too. If you go to the mm-hmm. meditation part, we've, mm-hmm. cause we've partnered a lot with our studies. We're doing a study right now with the great team out of Boca Raton and their group of elite um, veterans. And so we're doing a, a PTSD study with them and they're doing the bio strap for the sleeping part of it to uh, give us their sleep scores. And we've done, we've used them before for our Australian study. I was talking about the six weeks, and yeah. four, three weeks that was done with the, with the bio strap. So we've used it quite a bit. Amazing doctor. Um, lastly, is there any other, links or places uh obviously we're going to be putting everything uh down in the description but for people who are driving or uh are more of audible um um intakers is there any other link that they should follow maybe social media anything like that that you like Uh, they can follow me on social media just uh it's at dr patrick porter at dr patrick porter or at brain tap tech that those are our, I guess, call signs for Instagram and Facebook and those. Mm-hmm. We're always sharing things and, you know, um, teaching people. We also have some private groups. Um, once they join those, they'll find out about them. We we have, once somebody gets the equipment, they'll be told about a couple different private groups we have on Facebook where we share things. But they could, if they did hashtag brain tap, they're going to see all sorts of people from professional ball players of all sports to boxers to UFC to actually um, uh, Victoria's Secret models using Brain Tap. I was asked, "How can I get the? How can I afford them?" I said, "I didn't pay them. They just love the product and went on and in you know yeah. see the swimsuit models using it. And they think we paid for it, but these are people just they want to share what's happening for them and what's helping them to overcome their stress." Yeah, and actually, I got. Um... I have a few uh, friends since I, I do um, uh, jujitsu 
semi semi professionally i got a reach reach out to uh to speak to you after this podcast and, and uh, create a link uh between you and another group so that would be a That would be nice. Yeah, you, you definitely, from my point of view, from, from a, a user point of view, again, I, can, I cannot, the, the reason I, bring, I wanted to bring you on, there was no way for me to really um, verbalize my, my experience with BrainTap, the way that it helped me, mainly, mainly my life partner, uh, but me having a, a growing company with all the stressors involved, uh, it, it has been definitely uh, one of the tools that helps us, help us the most. So I wanted to thank you personally and everyone that works with you. And um, I, I really, really, uh, again, couldn't, couldn't say more. That's great. Well, we appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you at the next event. Yes, sir. And we'll, again, we'll, we go to the same event. So, so we'll see you very soon.